It's June, a whole new month, new red light therapy products, new science, new articles. And yeah, I'm actually wearing a, a V-Light Duo right now. Currently running in gamma mode. I know, it's a bit odd. So I typically do this uh, and during the day. Uh, I'm doing it for an experiment. So I did some EEG scans, I did some cognitive testing. I'm gonna use this for a couple of months and then do a follow-up. I've done videos on it, check out the videos on V-Light. And I just realized, uh, I, I do it about four times a week, right? And I just realized I'm a bit behind this week and getting my sessions in. As soon as I finish this video, I'm going to the gym. So I figured, hey, I have to get it in now. And I thought, you know what? It's a red light. You guys seen me do all sorts of odd things. So yeah, I'm going to wear it during this presentation. If you think I am executing exceptionally well from a cognitive point of view, then yeah, maybe it's due to this. Anyway, let's get into new products first. All right, so Red Light Rising, the UK company, haven't heard much from them in a while. Uh, saying that, I am gonna be interviewing them when I get to London uh, in a few weeks time at the Health Optimization Summit. If you're gonna be there, by the way, let me know, Bart will be there, Lisa will be there, I'll be there of course, so yeah, please let me know and I'd love to catch up. So anyway, Red Light Rising have just come out with a new half stack and a full stack. This is their 3.0 version. There are four wavelengths in these new panels, including A10, which is great. Now Red Light Rising have also published an ebook on red light therapy and pain. Links to these products and every other product and company and article I mentioned in this video are all down below. Also, I am affiliated with a lot of these companies. That means there are discount codes and discount links down below. Feel free to discuss all of this uh, over at our Facebook group. It's worth checking out if you're not in there already. Now you may have noticed, not only do I have this interesting headset, I also have this intranasal device. This is shooting beautiful light up my nasal cavity. Talk about it in my V-Light videos, go check that out. But Mitre Red Light have just announced a 1070 intranasal device. I think this is really cool, 1070. Very powerful from a brain cognitive point of view. Had to play around with it when I was in Phoenix very recently. Be sure to subscribe to not only check out my interview with Scott, the CEO of Mitre Red Light, but also a behind the scenes tour. It was really, really cool. So very cool product. Links are down below. I'm going to aim to get one to do a review and it's coming in at a good price point as well. Good news, Block Blue Light now offer a motorized stand. Uh, this is similar to the Platinum LED motorized stand. I've reviewed that. A lot of people have been asking when are these other companies gonna do one? Well, Block Blue Light do it. I believe Mono Red Light may be doing it or are already doing it as well. So really great news. Speaking of stands, Rouge have just announced their own unique twist on a motorized stand. It's a horizontal and vertical pneumatic stand. Pretty cool concept and quite a minimalistic design. I like the look of it. So I'll try to get one to review. Leave a comment down below if you would like me to do that. And if you have one, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Joe's 4D now have a microcurrent device with 660 and 540 green light. Now the treatment area seems a bit bigger than the solar wave. Uh, the device is also aimed at the scalp and here as well as the face. Current body have come out with a rather high end mask. This mask has eight different wavelengths. The face mask has blue, green, amber, as well as red light. Neuronic have just announced a masterclass, 50 US dollars. Uh, you can learn a lot about red light therapy and red light therapy on the brain. I'm gonna do this course myself and we'll do a review of it. Stay tuned for that. Finally, Huga have just come out with a new red light therapy mask and also a portable device. Both of these products are very well priced. Uh, Huga is known for good quality, well priced products. I may get a mask. Uh, in fact, I may get a bunch of masks. There's so many out there now. Uh, it'd be great to do a big comparison with those. So if that's something you're in interested in, also let me know what, what masks I should review because I, I can't really keep up with all of the companies. Uh, so yeah, leave your thoughts all down below. Okay, now it's time for new articles. Now, I'm just gonna run through all of these because there is a lot to cover. Uh, and, and look, if you're interested in the article, you'll go read it. If you're not, you don't want me to blab on about it. So here goes. Mono Red Light have published an article on red light therapy for lymphedemia and also one on EMFs. Rook have an article on red light therapy for shingles. Kineon have published a heap of new articles, including articles on back pain, red light therapy for pregnancy and fertility, arthritis, and a lot more. Thor Laser have published a bit more information on photobiomodulation 2024 in the UK. 
Check out my videos with James Carroll for more on that. Highly recommend attending that if you can. And specifically, they've published some information on oral mucositis as a cancer treatment side effect. And James mentioned that in one of our videos, uh, and he said how amazing red light therapy was for addressing these side effects. We've got a speaker from the Christie Hospital, Great Britain's largest cancer center, that have been using photobiomodulation. So it's a cancer hospital, they're not treating cancer, they are treating the side effects of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. It can often lead to a lot of soreness inside the mouth. They develop ulcerations such that they can't eat, drink, or swallow. And what they've demonstrated is with photobiomodulation in the mouth, they have reduced the hospitalization of patients by 87.9%. So it's a huge, that is a massive number. If this is something you or your loved ones are suffering from, definitely check that out. Chroma have published an article running through all of their different products, how they're different, which one is suited for what goal. Uh, and they touch on the Lux Vital. This emits a lot in the violet range, violet and blue. And this light is specifically targeted to the opsins in the skin. So he's got an older article on that topic over on Twitter or X. Uh, so you may want to check that out. And all of this is quite interesting. I know Scott Kennedy from Light Path LED is a big fan of blue light. We've talked about that in an interview in the past. And of course, Light Path LED cell panels with blue light in it as well. V Light have new articles on Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. They're drawing on studies that Bart has covered in his V Light articles over at Light Therapy Insiders and also the videos that I've published in the past on the science behind V Light. Finally, Juve have published a Q&A with their team. What's really interesting is Juve have been quite silent for a few years now, so it's good to see their blog kickstart again because, yeah, they had published some good content in the past. Interestingly, this Q&A goes into why they've stuck with 660 and 850 nanometers, also why uh, they've kept the power numbers down on their panels. They also touch on uh, grounding and how it's not really a big issue, which is uh, quite funny because I mean, I don't know of any other reviewer that has looked or criticized their panels for the grounding issue. I still don't understand why they didn't address that with their latest generation, which is now a few years old, because it is an easy fix. It's hard to spin it as a feature and not a bug. Anyway, time will tell if they address that in a future version. I'm sure they will, because in my opinion, that'd be silly not to. Anyway, watch this space. Who knows? Maybe the relaunch of their blog means that I've got a new panel coming out, which would be very, very cool. It'd be cool to see that. Of course, there are also a heap of articles that have been published over at the Light Therapy Insiders blog. If you're not on that mailing list, check it out. If you want to go deep into the technical and scientific world of light therapy, then yeah, we touch on this or I touch on this on the YouTube channel, but over at the blog, that's that's where you need to be. So let's run through a few of the articles published in the last few weeks. So there's one on light therapy and sleep disorders. There's one on light therapy and autism. There's an article on red light therapy and PTSD, red light therapy for the knee, red light therapy and sunburn, both prevention and after care treatment, red light therapy for varicose veins, and also the higher dose sauna plane kit review. So lots of information over there. Go check it out when you got time. All right, now for some new science. So this is a study that we had discussed in the Facebook group, uh, but the paper wasn't officially released at that point. So now it's out. The paper looks at the use of 670 nanometer light, red light, and how it impacts blood sugar levels. It lowers blood sugar levels. Okay, so there were two groups of participants. One group was exposed to 670 nanometer light, the other wasn't. Now both groups did an oral glucose to tolerance test. This is where they consume, I think it's like 75 grams of glucose in some water uh, to see what happens with your blood sugar levels. After they consumed that, blood sugar levels were measured every 15 minutes for a two hour period. So what happened? Well, those people who were exposed to the red light had lower blood sugar levels, as in their body processed or responded better to the influx of glucose into the body than the group that wasn't exposed to red light, which is quite fascinating. The researchers note that red light therapy could be used around a high carb meal to decrease the spike in blood glucose. They also noted that blue light exposure can actually have the opposite effect. So isolated blue light can in fact increase your blood sugar levels, which is quite fascinating. Now, how much red light was used? What sort of device was used? 
Well, let me explain. So the participant's upper back was exposed to the red light. The area was about 30 by 30 centimeters, so a foot by a foot centimeter squared. That's like a good chunk of your back. The intensity of the light was 40 milliwatts and the duration was 15 minutes. So if you have a panel that you've purchased in the last few years, you could probably stand about nine to 12 inches away from that panel, turn the near infrared light off, just leave red on, use it for about 15 minutes and you're gonna get a similar dosage as what you would get in this particular experiment. What would be really cool is if this study was redone with a larger device like a Novathor bed or even a smaller device like just a torch on the wrist for instance. It'd be quite fascinating to compare the outcomes even playing around with treatment time like is five minutes all we need instead of 15 minutes for instance it is a really neat experiment and yeah it has a lot of implications especially if you are one who is diabetic or pre-diabetic or you're just trying to keep your blood sugar levels in control all right before we get into the q a section i just heard this device beep which means it is turned off so i'm going to take it off you may have noticed i've got a little dimple on my head because it does put a bit of pressure up there it's not the most comfortable device and there are lots of cables it could be uh it could be done better i believe they're coming out with a new and improved version i will be reviewing it so stay tuned for that speaking of reviews be sure to hit subscribe i do a monthly video like this every month funny that and uh, a lot of product reviews a lot of interviews a lot of scientific deep dives all sorts of cool stuff like that if you're enjoying this video, also hit the like button. I do appreciate the support. This month's question is around the future of red light therapy. Now, the question goes, a few years ago, Alex did uh, a video explaining what he thinks um, will happen in the future with red light therapy. So the question goes, what, what's the latest? What do you think now? Well, I've got a few answers from Bart. So let's run through those before I share my own insights. So Bart expects to see panels with a lot more wavelengths, the blues, the ambers, greens uh we're already seeing this a little bit uh, of course the biomax has blue now it's branched out to 1060 in the near infrared range light path led have panels with blue light uh you have minor red light including amber light in their panel so it's already happening but by things the trend will see panels with more of these lights all included in one blue green amber near infrared all the good stuff and i agree i agree with him uh, I actually think we're pretty much like heading towards sun uh, replicas. That's a big claim, isn't it? You know what I mean? I think we're, we're heading towards full spectrum, high intensity lights that mimic two, three, four, five hours in the sun uh, and condense it into a 10 minute session without the harmful effects of UVA, for instance. I think that's the direction we're going in. Uh, the science supports it. Um, and yeah, a lot of people just say, hey, if, why not just, you don't need a fancy panel, just go out in the sun. And that is true. Uh, however, it's hard for people to get out in the sun for extended periods, depending on where they live, work, all of those things. Secondly, there are downsides with being out in the sun. Thirdly, we know that some particular wavelengths are really good at particular things and you just want to tap into them, right? It's why a lot of us take supplements, uh, particular vitamins or minerals to reap the benefits of those. So I don't think it's going to move 100% to full spectrum sun replacement panels because red light therapy is always gonna have its place. It's been used medically for years, for instance. Uh, but I think as a consumer product, we are gonna see panels that, like Bart said, incorporate a lot of these wavelengths. And Bart's second point was he expects to see bigger players, bigger companies uh, entering the space, especially as they see how powerful this light is. Uh, what's interesting here is, and I agree with Bart here, what's interesting here is many, many years ago, uh, when blue light and melatonin suppressin was becoming uh, known in the biohacking space, um, I actually set up a little company um, in Australia that was selling glasses that filtered uh, blue light, right? And a lot of people, even in the gym wellness space that I was in, thought I was nuts. They were like, what is this? And I'd show them some research and they are like, I don't care. Just, you know, why would you wear these crazy glasses? Fast forward, what? eight years or so and uh you know now most consumer gadgets have blue light modes on them uh it's quite well known that blue light can impact your sleep and and people average joe is aware of it right so i wouldn't be surprised if this happens 
with red light therapy and light therapy as a whole. And yeah, Bart has mentioned two companies here like Philips and Sony are both of these companies. You know, Philips already has a big presence in the lighting space. Uh, Sony has always been known for innovative products. So yeah, I, I fully agree. Uh, Bart's onto something here. And then finally, Bart's point is that he thinks red light therapy or light therapy is going to become a lot more mainstream. So Bart actually mentioned how years ago it was hard to find a gym that had a squat rack. Uh, now, like you go to gyms and there's lines of squat racks and, uh, you know, CrossFit, functional movement, powerlifting, all that sort of stuff has helped change that. And it's not uncommon to see people squatting, which again, as someone who has been in powerlifting about 15 years ago, uh, you know, it's good to see you go into a commercial big box gym and you see people squatting. Now, it, it was a rarity back then. So, I think that's going to be true with light therapy. Maybe we'll go to gyms and there will be like, you might have read like cabin in the corner there, or um, people are going to have it in their homes, or I don't know. It's just, yeah, I, again, I, I get what Bart's saying here. It's starting to happen anyway. We're still very, very, very early in the space. So um, yeah, watch this space. My personal insights, are, I mean, hey, look, I, I don't really need to go beyond the three that Bart mentioned. I think we're gonna see more wearables and more products that move away from the panels. As LED power output is improving, costs are coming down, you know, you can get smaller, lighter, more portable devices that are putting out a good amount of energy. I think we're going to see more products with built-in dosing protocols. Um, you know, we've obviously seen it with the radio panels. I think that's going to be, especially in the medical space, you know, you've got V-Lite who have something for their head. Uh, you have that Weber rest device i think you're going to see a lot of products like that coming out from medical companies with the funding the research the fda approval all that's good stuff uh, and it's going to be a specific use case so for instance you have um i don't know arthritis and you use that particular product and that may actually help make red light therapy more mainstream because if someone's going to their doctor or surgeon and afterwards the they're told to use this particular device and it's like okay well my doctor said this you know it, it's like oh, okay well if the doctor said it it must be good so uh you, you know i'm just gonna leave it there because i've talked long enough about this but maybe in a couple months time or end of the year i'll do another video taking a deeper uh dive into this all right what's upcoming on the channel i've got uh, some amazing videos coming out. So I've just got back from America where I caught up with uh, Minor Red Light. I also did an interview with Therasage and I also did a video with a company selling this really neat UVB product. So stay tuned for that. And I know when I go to the UK soon, uh, there's gonna be more interviews. So lots of cool interviews, lots of new products coming out. As for what's happening on the channel, well, the big one is my Rouge Ultimate G3 panel. This thing is a monster. Uh, I'll put some footage up now. Biggest wall panel I've ever tested. That review is out very, very soon. I have a Color Elite review. I have a Best Cool panel review. I have the Solar Wave review. And I also have a video looking at the lowest EMF panel, the panel with the lowest EMF. All of that is coming out plus more here on the YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. Okay, so that's what's coming up. What has been published recently? Well, these are a couple of the Big videos that you may have missed. First up, there was a closer look at the Block Blue Light Mega, the Royo Therapy, and the Biomax panel. There was also a video where I looked at those three and the Mito Hacker panel, the wider packet panel. So these are like your top performing panels and I, I do a really deep dive going through the pros and cons of each. So uh, check that out if you're in the market for one of them. I published a video looking at supplements for red light therapy. Um, I didn't cover methylene blue in that video, but I've had so many questions about that. So we need to do that. So stay tuned for a video on that. I have a video looking at red light therapy in the commercial space, whether it's gyms or clinics and what products and what companies you can use. I also had a video looking at the best panel under $1,000. And then I had a video that's just gone out looking at whether we're being ripped off and if we're overpaying for panels like I have behind me. So all of that and more can be seen in the links below or YouTube is probably gonna show one right up here. You can click this box and you can watch another video of mine. I'll see you soon.